What good is power if you cannot protect the ones you love? It's a sign of changing TV times. Home box office plans to let people subscribe to its streaming service, HBO Go, this year. For years, HBO said it didn't make sense to do this from a business perspective because the number of people streaming video without a cable TV subscription wasn't high enough. Syracuse University pop culture expert Robert Thompson says it makes sense that HBO is now changing its tune. And they realize that there are an awful lot of people who do not have a television set, who are not hooked up to a, a cable or a satellite, um, and they want to have those potential audience members. Um, and the only way to do that is to let them get it on, uh, uh, online. According to the U.S. Census Bureau, there are more than 184,000 households here in Onondaga County, and more than three quarters of them have broadband internet. Last year's Pew research found that nine out of 10 adults under 30 watch online videos, and nearly half of all adults under 50 watch the news online. And in September, Nielsen reported more than 50% jumps in digital video watched and drops in television viewership for all adults under 65. For mother of five, Jenny Boyer, ditching cable was a choice she made years ago. I didn't feel like any of the programs were very good. Even the programs that I had enjoyed watching, I felt like were, were starting to be something that wasn't worth watching anymore. She thinks it was also the right move for her kids. And, um, and I was also using our TV as a babysitter too much. And so we just decided to not have TV at all, actually, during that time. So she unplugged the set, moved it to a spare room in her home. And we didn't have it after that. Boyer made this decision when she was living in the San Francisco area as her husband was working on his PhD. She would ask his fellow students at the university. What were some of the main things that your parents did that helped you get to Stanford? And pretty much all of them said we didn't have TV, which amazed me that that was the biggest factor they felt like. With no television, she asked them, What did you do? And they said, we didn't have time to watch TV. We played instruments. We did clubs at school, we did our homework, we played games as a family. And that's what our kids do now. That includes Joe as a Does your yeah. person have black hair? They take piano lessons. One of our daughters plays violin, the other one also plays flute. And she plays the ukulele. Boyer's family doesn't have time for a lot of television. And that's one thing that we have found once we turn it off, is that you don't have time. Your life fills up with other things. Because there are more important things going on in her life. <laughs> I, I am somewhat aware of what's going on in the world, but my world, what I really need to focus on right now in my life is my kids and my family and what's going on here. And so I don't want to get too sucked into other happenings. Two balls, two strikes for Burris. Of course, when it comes to sports. Like we'll go to the Syracuse Chiefs game, which is a blast, right? And you're actually there experiencing it more than just like sitting on your couch eating potato chips or whatever. For her children, it can be a little hard not watching popular shows. The Day of the Doctor. Like Doctor Who is really big right now, and our 13-year-old is all about Doctor Who, right? But she doesn't watch the programming. Um, but she still knows about it and can talk about it with her friends. Um, so I don't feel like we're really missing out at all. If anything, I think our, our life is better and richer without it. And you know, all those commercials. We're not bombarded by the whatever billion dollar commercial industry, the advertising industry. So when Christmas comes around and I say to our kids, what do you want for Christmas? They're like, um, I don't know. Which she says is better than the alternative.
Oh, such a perfect day. I've been in homes where the TV was on and I was having a conversation with the parents and a commercial came on and the daughter just like freaked out. Came over running to the mom. I have to have this, I want this, I want this now. And it was because of the, the advertising. Boyer says her family has more control over what they want. Of course, for Thompson, who has made a living off of knowing about television. Um, I didn't get a net Netflix subscription until House of Cards. I had other ways of seeing movies. I had all my television uh, uh, stuff in my own collection. But I had to break down and sign up because House of Cards could be seen nowhere else. And that's what content producers like HBO want to hear. Still. The question becomes, how much do you charge for it? Because if you totally undercut the subscription charge on cable, are you going to get all those people who are currently paying however much money it is to simply cancel the subscription and go over to online? They don't want to do that. They want to get these um, potential audience members that they'd otherwise not have, but they'd also like to keep their current audience uh, that's on cable on cable. And that becomes a price point issue that's a complicated calculus. HBO was the first subscription-based cable channel, leading ESPN, CNN, and MTV by almost a decade. It may be that, with the rising numbers of people ditching cable, the rest of television may need to find out how to adapt and survive. For The Field Report, I'm Xander Gamble.